to everybody. Yeah, and then you can just follow me inside. And you make an extended spiral of knots. So making something with needle binding takes longer than knitting it and it also uses a lot more thread but you also get a better product. Because every one of these knots is completed. It's not a loop like in knitting. So if you get a hole in it, it won't start to sit down and wait because very soon now somebody from their family is going to kill the murderer and then you just do the same thing all over again. So you won't have this spiral of violence going completely out of control. It will only go until somebody takes the silver. The spare has enough penetrative force to go through a chainmail. It has a very good reach and it's blindingly fast. So even a completely untrained 12 or 13 year old with a spare is something you should be a little bit concerned about on the battlefield. The most common belt weapon of the Viking Age, at least here in Norway, was this. This is a battle axe. When you see Viking battle axes in the movies, they often have this whoop, 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 ridiculously big hand. And that really wouldn't be that. So quite far away from my hand, back here when I'm wielding it, and this makes it kind of drag on the arm. So whenever I start an attack with the axe, the axe really wants to continue in that direction. And for me to stop it, or change direction, I have to use a whole lot of force back here. So for the people who could afford it, the sword was a very good alternative. Here the point of balance is a lot closer to your hand, so it's a lot more responsive and a lot faster to be. But these would also be extremely expensive compared to the axes. Not only does it take a whole lot more steel to make a sword than it does to make an axe, but you also need the specialist skills of the swordsmiths. And in the Viking Age, ordinary people consider the swordsmiths to be almost like magicians. Direct influence on what happens to you when you die. That's pretty much up to you. It's a matter I think this is where the Viking slips. Stairs. Here's the bed. Looks warm and cozy.
Tour. 